masters of horror, we all scream for ice cream. From the opening scene where this kid is given the best ice cream in the world and he takes a bite and the man he's looking at it turns to a puddle of ice cream, you kind of know what you ran for. A strange force that is delivering ice cream to children. If the children eat the ice cream, it kills their parents. This is because of what happened to essentially a, I'll just say simple, person who used to have an ice cream truck. This group of kids decided to play, I'll just say, a relatively mean prank on him. He never quite forgave him of it. So now he is essentially an undead clown giving their children ice cream. If they eat the ice cream, they turn into a puddle of ice cream and die. I'm not joking. This is a, an undead clown who has magical ice cream. That's revenge ice cream. Sweet revenge ice cream. You know, the backstory is good. It's done pretty well. You can tell that it's taken, be taken you know, beats from other movies, from other, uh, other movies. You know, with the flashback, and, you know, all the people being tied together and it being a clown. But the fact that if your child eats this ice cream, that's it. You become a puddle of ice cream. It's really, it's really amazing. When I first saw, like, the opening, I thought it was more like, like, uh, like a Twilight Zone, like, you know, if this kid if this kid eats ice cream, you know, he can kill you. But it's not. It's the clown who makes the ice cream. Specific for the child to kill the parent. Think of it like an hour long tale from the crypt. It's it's done you know, the few times that she shows me actually turning into the puddle of ice cream, it's done pretty well. It's got that if you're not scared of clowns, this is primarily like goofy fun. If you are scared of clowns, this will probably give you some nightmares. And the way that he fights him at the very end, setting up like a little trap, it's very much a nightmare on Elm Street. So you have the, uh, the collection of kids who have a, a shared past, somewhat kind of like Stephen King's It. And you've got, you know, the way that, the way that the, he's defeated at the very end, kind of similar to like a, like a, a nightmare on Elm Street. It's done well. It's, it's enjoyable. It's not super serious. You know, it's... It's a pissed off clown that feeds your children ice cream that turns you into a puddle of ice cream. It, it, it's brilliant in its simplicity. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. Some of the scenes of gore are, for some, probably intense, but it's, it is definitely an enjoyable, almost like Tales from the Crypt meets Killer Clowns from Outer Space.